Yo, what's going on, buddy? This is Don't Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is Jerry Jones, as we know, with the Dallas Cowboys. He likes to talk a lot. He likes to get uh, involved with the press every time a single game, whether they win, lose. And throughout the week, he got a weekly uh, appearance, I guess, with, with like a Dallas radio station. And from the way it sounds, is he was kind of asked on that radio station about the Dallas Cowboys' uh, success versus failure, how they've been doing the past couple years, uh, even this year. And does he feel like some of the failure is kind of related to him? And he said pretty much in the interview, that's a very fair statement to say for the him being the reason why they're not winning. Now, as we know, the Dallas Cowboys, ever since I believe 1995, they have not been to the NFC Championship game. They've been to divisional rounds, walk-out rounds. They made the playoffs plenty of times. They just cannot. It's like their goal every single year: win the Super Bowl. They can't even get to the. They can't even get to the Super Bowl. They can't even get to the NFC title game. They are divisional round, walk-out round. A lot of times, not even getting to the playoffs. So what I wanted to do is I kind of want to go through, talk about Jerry Jones, talk about the Dallas Cowboys, talk about what's the issue, why are they not winning? And my opinion, I have been saying this for a couple years, uh, not on here, but just to myself, to friends, other people around me, family. Jerry Jones is a problem with the Dallas Cowboys. Now I'll explain more as I go, but without further ado, we're gonna get straight into this. Now, as always, all information you're gonna be seeing on screen whenever it comes to both uh, articles we're gonna be kind of covering with all the news. There's gonna be two of them. Both links underneath where it says info will be down in the description below. So if you wanna go check them out for yourself, feel free. But I'm gonna go and get straight into this. If you're going to enjoy it, as always, make sure you go and drop a like on today's video. Be very much appreciated if you do so. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, like I was saying with Jerry Jones, he was, like I said, asked by a local uh, Dallas radio station, I believe. And as you can see here, with tensions high, a poll from WFAA TV in Dallas, uh, it was TV station, I guess, shows that 70% of voters blame Jones for the rough uh, beginning to the campaign of the 2024 annual season. This year, Jones didn't scold the fans for their feelings telling the Sean and RJ show on 105.3 The Fan. That's very fair. They go on to say, quote, how could you think otherwise, whether it be who's out there coaching, whether it be who's out there playing, whether it be the stadium you're walking into, whether it is here, that's the way it is. Jones went on to say, quote, now, let me just say this. Do I have a huge amount of input in making those decisions when they've uh, done their homework? They're very influential input to me. And we've got a lot of people in the Dallas Cowboys that have done their input. Now, for those of you who do not know, Jerry Jones for the Dallas Cowboys is not only the owner, he's also the president and he's also the general manager. A lot of times, it's usually you have an owner, you have a president, and you have a general manager. Jerry Jones is all three. Sometimes they could be an owner and president, but most of the time, there's a general manager. Sometimes you'll see like a coach, general manager. It's a good organization has every kind of job split up. There's an owner, there's a president, maybe a vice president, a general manager, the coach. Everybody kind of has their own job. Jerry Jones at times, I almost wonder why he doesn't just go down there and be the coach himself. Now, one of the funny things with Jerry Jones is they've gone through a lot and a lot of head coaches. As we know, they here currently they have Mike McCarthy. They've been trying him out for a few years. It's not working. They had Jason Garrett before him. He tried it out. They tried it out with him a couple years. Got to the playoffs, got the divisional round, just couldn't get anything working. They had Jimmy Johnson in the past, won some Super Bowls. It's with Jimmy Johnson, it worked, but it's like after that, they just couldn't get anything working no matter what coach they brought in they it's like like i said they might make the playoffs but they weren't going anywhere after that now when it comes to jerry jones and what he's done in his time with dallas because a lot of people like i said myself some people say he's not good for dallas he doesn't deserve to be there they some people have kind of said he's not done anything in dallas he has done stuff in dallas he's got a couple super bowls with dallas as we know uh back in the 80s i believe early 90s they won some super bowls like i said with jimmy johnson but since then and even including his entire time with the dallas cowboys as you can see under jerry jones the Cowboys record is 312 and 252, so he's just a little over 500. And like I said, he's won Super Bowls in 93, 94, so back to back, and he also won in 96. So he had a dominant run there in the 90s. But after 1996, like I said, since we always talk about 1995, the last time they were in a conference championship game, after that, they haven't sniffed success. Like we said, since that time when they were winning Super Bowls, the unfortunately since then, the Cowboys have seen no postseason success. In the playoffs, the Cowboys are currently 16 and 15 under Jerry Jones. Now, with Jerry Jones, one thing we always talk about with him in the Dallas Cowboys is they're America's team. They have this big brand. You don't see people walking down the street uh, wearing uh, Miami Dolphins gear all over the place. You don't see people talking about uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, uh, Seattle Seahawks brand. Even the Chiefs, for how big they are, they're not like a big brand. When you think of like big brands, you see people wearing LA hats because the LA Dodgers, New York hats, New York Yankees. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys have become like a brand that like people wear just to wear. And I'll give it to Jerry Jones. He knows how to market people. He knows how to just build a brand, build the team, make everything flashy, make people want to come watch your team, get money, 
That's what he's good at. And his thing is he's able to build a team. He gets everybody there. He gets good pieces in there. Gets a good quarterback, Dak Prescott. He's got all the important things rolling. He's got great players. They're always right there. But then always, it just feels like they can never just get over that last hump. And sometimes I wonder with the way how we always talk about at NFL and all sports are uh, fixed. Do the Cowboys just like to be that team? Because every time they get to the playoffs, they always lose in a way to where it's like, you can't make this shit up. It's like a new way to lose a football game. Like with the years of the 49ers here, the past couple years, uh, them losing the 49ers in the playoffs. They lose the one year because they forgot how that you can't spike the ball until the ref touches the ball. That was new. Uh, them having Ezekiel LA be a center, snapping the ball back to Dak Prescott, and then getting CeeDee Lamb blown up. That's new. It's almost like Jerry Jones wants the way the Cowboys, if they are going to lose, to just be something extraordinary that we're going to talk about them for weeks on weeks on weeks. Now, I do want to say this about the Dallas Cowboys. With Jerry Jones, there has been talk in the past couple of days, and I believe even the past weeks throughout the month of September, we have discussed if Jerry Jones maybe should go after Bill Belichick to be the new head coach if Mike McCarthy cannot get the job done here in the 2024 season. Now, on paper, that looks like a really good idea because Bill Belichick, the Super Bowl experience, he could get the job done. The problem with Jerry Jones in the past couple of years, and even I would say the past 10, 15 years, he wants the success if they win a Super Bowl. Like if they go out there and let's just say they do really good this season and they go out there and Dak Prescott's balling out in the playoffs. He's doing amazing. CeeDee Lamb balling out. This defense is historic. They're doing everything amazing. Uh, Mike McCarthy, let's just say they start off the season. Right now they're two and two. Let's just say they go off in here the next three weeks and they go off two and three. Uh, maybe they go off like, end up being like two and five, three and six. They are looking horrible, but then they rip off a bunch of wins in a row. You would think that credit would go to Mike McCarthy, Dak Prescott maybe, the defensive coordinator for the defense if they do pretty good, one of them would get the credit. But oh, no, 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 no. It's going to be Jerry Jones getting the credit. He's going to be the one running up to the podium and be like, I built this team. I'm the one who should get the credit. Look at me. Look at this team I built. And it's kind of the reason why they're not doing Bill Belichick the service of giving him the job because they know deep down if Bill Belichick becomes the head coach and they go out there and win the Super Bowl next year immediately, the credit's going to go to Bill Belichick and Jerry Jones is just going to be somebody standing there as Hey, you did good. Good job. It's like I said, Dak Prescott could go out there throw for 500 yards in the Super Bowl. CeeDee Lamb get 200 yards receiving. Uh, Zeke Elliott could become reborn, rush for 150 yards. This team could pummel a team. God knows who they play out of the AFC. Be 50 to nothing. The Cowboys are going to be having all these players and the coaches needing to be celebrated. But Jerry Jones is going to be like, fuck all them. Celebrate me. And you got to admit, it's an ego thing. And I understand his thing. He wants to be the reason they win the whole thing. But look at these teams who are winning these Super Bowls, especially with now the Chiefs. And it pains me to say it sometimes, but they don't give a fuck who gets the success. If it's Rasheed Rice catching the touchdown, if it's Xavier Worthy catching the touchdown. In the past, it was Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes running the ball. They didn't care who made the play. If it was the defense standing up at the very end, making the stop. Whoever had to get the sack, Chris Jones, or one of the other defensive linemen. Uh, we had guys in the past with Tyron Matthew when he was with the team. They didn't care who made the play. It didn't matter if it was a coach maybe making the play, making the correct call. Whatever had to be done, it, just get it done. Just get the job done. I feel like until the Cowboys with Jerry Jones can just get his ego out of the way and just put the correct people in place to win ball games, they're not going anywhere. Because based off the how they look right now at 2-2, two and two, I don't see them going anywhere this season. I think maybe they have a chance to win the division. I think they have a chance to get the playoffs. Getting to the NFC title game, fuck no. You're going to go, this is going to be, what, 30, 31st, 32nd straight year? I know that's not good math, but you know what I'm saying. The Dallas Cowboys are in for a rough year. Uh, like I said, they're probably going to make the playoffs, but it's not. they're not going to go far after it. And I'm willing to bet the day when Jerry Jones decides I'm stepping away from the team, or maybe like, I don't know, I don't know how old he's right now. I think he's like in his 80s, so may say... 10, 20 years, hopefully he would live a long time. Whenever he passes or whenever he's gone from the team, this team might actually get some success by then. Because by then, hopefully the Jones family, they're not going to be egotistic or be having a heavy ego like Jerry Jones. They can separate the roles, get a general manager in there that knows football, get a president in there that can still do the ways of what Jerry was kind of doing with the way running the team, kind of like with how he is just a marketing genius. And get a very good head coach. Get somebody in there that knows what the fuck they're doing. Because Mike McCarthy, I don't think he knows what he's doing. He's just riding off the success of the talent that Jerry Jones is giving him. And for all you Cowboys fans, I know you're probably saying you're going to the Super Bowl this year. No, you're not. It's going to be a rough season. But other than that, I think I'm going to wrap up there. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you did enjoy it, as always, make sure you go and drop a like on this video. Be very much appreciated if you do so. If you wanted to watch the entirety of today's video, thank you very much. And like I said, if you have a different opinion, do you agree or disagree with anything I said? Do you think Jerry Jones uh, is the reason they're not winning? Not the reason they're not winning? Uh, do you think it's a player issue, a coaching issue, a uh, uh, team uh, environment issue? Whatever you may it may be, whenever it comes to the team as to why they're not winning, go ahead and leave a complete opinion down in the comment section down below. I'd be more than welcome to kind of talk about with you guys. If you're a fan of the content that I do poster and you want to go and hit that big red subscribe button, feel free to do so. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified second to post. But without further ado, this has been Don't Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.